Hey. Yeah. Wow. Well, you might have seen a, a few people showed up in Philadelphia the other night. And then 10,000 plus walked into a field in western Wisconsin. And then on Wednesday, the largest crowd of the campaign showed up in Detroit, Michigan. But Arizona just couldn't leave it alone, could you? <laughs> It's not as if anybody cares about crowd sizes or anything. So. <laughs> wow. The extent to which Tim Wallace and Kamala Harris have Donald Trump's number cannot be overstated. They know exactly how to set this very fragile man and his very fragile ego off, and that is by hitting him on the one thing he cares most about, his ability to command an audience. Despite all of Donald Trump's shortcomings, of which there are a lot, his one virtue is that he knows how to get an audience. But when he loses even that, then what does he really have left? And let's be clear, when Donald Trump sees the audience that Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz just got in Phoenix, Arizona, probably not gonna be too thrilled. So Arizona, Arizona, bring that joy with you, bring those smiles, bring that positive future as you join me in welcoming the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. That is what 15 to 20,000 people all on their feet look like. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is holding a competing rally of his own in Montana in an arena that holds about 7,000 people. And, uh, well, this video probably speaks for itself. I gotta say, it sure is nice when venues open up for these smaller events. Sure, they may not make as much money and they may not sell as many concessions, but I'm sure the artist, or in this case, politician, really appreciates the opportunity to at least talk to a few people who managed to show up. It's actually quite sweet. A little pathetic, but sweet. In fact, there was actually something more embarrassing that happened even before Donald Trump took the stage to his sparse crowd. Listen to the song that the Trump campaign put on as the crowd was waiting for Donald Trump. That song is My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion, the soundtrack to a movie about a sinking ship. Like, a movie about a sinking ship at the rally for the candidate sinking in the polls. I'm not sure it would be humanly possible to have a more apt analogy. And look, let's be clear, the issue of crowds is clearly clearly having an impact on Donald Trump. Here's what he said about it just days ago at his disaster of a press conference at Mar-a-Lago. Never see the picture of the crowd, the biggest crowd I've ever spoken. I've spoken to the biggest crowds. Nobody's spoken to crowds bigger than me. If you look at Martin Luther King, when he uh, did his speech, his great speech, 
and you look at ours, same real estate, same everything, same number of people. If not, we had more. And they said he had a million people, but I had 25,000 people. But when you look at the exact same picture, and everything's the same because it was the fountains, the whole thing, all the way back to uh, from Lincoln to Washington. And you look at it, and you look at the picture of his crowd, my crowd. Uh, we actually had more people. They said I had 25,000, and he had a million people. And I'm okay with it because I liked Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you want to see insecurity on full display, it is Donald Trump feeling the need to say that his insurrection crowd from January 6th was bigger than Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech crowd. You ain't seen campaign strategy until you've watched a racist old white guy desperately trying to appeal to people of color who finds himself bragging that his crowd size of a mob that would ultimately storm the US Capitol to overthrow the government was bigger than Martin Luther King Jr.'s crowd listening to him call for civil rights for all Americans. Bravo, Donald. Bravo. The fact is that Kamala Harris and Tim Walz have full control of Donald Trump at this point. They know that by holding rallies in the same venues, only with more attendees, more energy, more enthusiasm, is absolutely killing the guy. And the campaign hasn't let off the gas for a second. Kamala's campaign took to Twitter posting this picture, a direct side-by-side -side of a Trump rally and a Harris rally in the same exact venue. Only small difference, see that top section at the Trump rally? Yeah, that's completely empty. And yet in the Harris rally, completely full. Again, same venue, apples to apples comparison, and yet Donald Trump can't fill the seats. Trump could get hit by a train and it would still hurt him less than knowing that he's getting smaller crowds than Kamala Harris. And look, is this an important issue? Does it rise to the level of what the Supreme Court is doing or voter suppression efforts or the threats to reproductive health care? Of course not. And I absolutely cover those on a daily basis. But every once in a while, it's pretty nice to know that on the only thing that Donald Trump truly cares about, he's becoming an abject failure. And that must be eating away at him. So if this video means that just a few more people know about it, then I feel like, at least for tonight, I've done my job. I've got a really exciting announcement. I've written a book. It's called Shameless. This book explores how Republicans have exploited their historical branding while attacking our democracy, how the media has proven itself a willful participant, and how Democrats can learn from this to rebalance the political scales and save our democracy. It has been a lifelong dream of mine to write my own book, and so I'd like to ask you to pre-order it by clicking the link right here on the screen. And if you buy within this pre-order period, your book is gonna come with a signed nameplate. As you know, I've never had a single sponsor on my channel. I don't ask for money or anything like that. That, but if you're looking for a way to support me, this is hands down the best way to do it. So again, follow the link right here on the screen and thank you from the bottom of my heart for pre-ordering Shameless. And as always, make sure to subscribe to see more of my content.